Hey everybody, this is Michael, and today I'm going to show you how to make something called the Bacon Explosion. So, now this is my first time making a how-to video, so if it's a little off, you know, give me some uh, slack there. Okay, so first, you're going to need a few things. Uh, you just need four ingredients for this. You need two pounds of bacon, thick slice. Now this stuff I got is super thick sliced, and this is a actually a two pound package. So most bacon comes in a one pound package, but uh, this one I found was two pounds. So you need two pounds of bacon. Okay, and then you need two pounds of Italian sausage. Now you can get uh, whatever kind you want. If you want it hot, super hot, mild, whatever. This is just kind of plain, the run of the mill, Italian sausage, not hot or anything like that. So you need two pounds of that. And then you also need some pork rub. And you can get all kinds of uh, different flavors of pork rub. They have chipotle, etc., etc. Um, the stuff I got's kind of got a sweet taste to it, and I've used it before on ribs and pork chops and stuff, and it's pretty good. So I use that. And the last thing you're going to need is some barbecue sauce. Um, get what you like. This stuff I got here was two for one, which is kind of why I got it. Um, I got honey barbecue and sweet and spicy. So I think for this recipe, I'm gonna use the uh, honey barbecue and uh, leave the sweet and spicy over there. But okay, so those are all the ingredients you need. Okay, let's get started. Um, probably the first thing I should tell you is that this, uh, this recipe is not for the uh, health conscious. Um, <laughs> it's made with a lot of bacon and a lot of sausage, a lot of barbecue sauce. So um, if you're recovering from triple bypass surgery or anything like that, I would uh, recommend that you do not try this recipe. So anyway, I found this. Uh, this actually is not a recipe that I made, but I'm sure I make it. But uh, my buddy Joe found this uh, while surfing the web today. And uh, I said, hmm, that looks good. I'm going to have to try to make that. So this is my first time making it too. Anyway, uh, I'll post the link to where the uh, website is and I got some more information and pictures and stuff there too, but I'm just kind of doing this for fun. Anyway, so, okay, first thing, take your sausage and uh, what you want to do is cut that open. Get both of them here. Um, I've left my sausage kind of setting out for a little bit because uh, that makes it a little more pliable and you'll see why that's important um, in a little bit. So take your sausage and uh, get you a big enough bowl that you can kind of mix it up in here. Um, you put them both together. Um, some grocery stores sell sausage that's, you know, you can get two pounds all together and it's not pre-packaged like this is, but this is, this is what my grocery store had. So anyway, um, all we're gonna kind of do here is kind of get this mushed into one big ball like this. Um, and then uh, you'll see later what we're gonna do with that, so. Get it all mushed in one big ball like that. And then go ahead and put that to the side. And then uh, next what we're gonna do is uh, make our, uh, our layer of uh, bacon. And we're gonna kinda, to do that, we're gonna kinda have to uh, weave the bacon. So I'm gonna show you how you do that. Take your bacon. Um, and, and you should only be using about half of this bacon to do this, but you know, like since I said this is my first time, we're gonna kind of experiment a little here. So get your bacon out, and then uh, take a few slices. What we're gonna do is kind of layer it out here. And like I said, this stuff I got is super thick. I mean, look at that. That is some thick bacon. Okay, so layer your bacon out here, like so. Try to kind of, you want to kind of try to keep the weave as tight as you can, but. Okay, and then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to start kind of weaving the bacon in there. So uh, let's start up here at the top and you just kind of go it's, you know, it's kind of the over-under thing. So flip that one up, do this one. You know, you just kind of do every other one like that, right? So you can see you want it about as wide as one piece of bacon because you want it to kind of end up being about square. So we'll just continue to 
to do that. Now this one will go the other way. Okay, so that's our bacon weave. And like I said, you want to try to keep it as tight as you can um, because we're going to end up having to uh, roll this up in a little bit. So keep it as tight as you can. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Looks like a basket or something, but it's not. It's bacon. So okay, next what you want to do is take your uh, take your pork rub and you just want to sprinkle a little bit around on it. So just kind of pinch it out there and you know do it to however you however much you want on there. It's just going to kind of help flavor the bacon a little bit. So we'll be we'll be pretty generous with it. Okay, and then next what you're going to do is you're going to take the sausage and we're going to make a big <clears throat> sausage patty on here basically. So that's kind of why we mushed it all up together and that's kind of why you want it uh, somewhat at room, you know, not at room temperature, but not right out of the fridge either because that'll make it a little bit easier to, to manipulate. So, all right, so just kind of start patting it out and then, you know, lay it down on your bacon and then just kind of work it all the way out. Okay, something like that, you know, just kind of cover the bacon. You can leave a little bit uh, here at the, at the sides or whatever. Um, and then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the bacon that's left and I'm going to fry it up, you know, cook it however you want. You want it real crispy, cool, cook it crispy. If you want it kind of soft, cook it kind of soft. We're going to cook that up and then we're going to, we're going to tear it or chop it up into pieces and then we're going to put it on top of here. Through the magic of TV, now our bacon is cooked. So what you're going to do is after you cook it, um, you're going to chop it or break it up depending on how crispy you cooked it in, uh, into little pieces like this. And then you're going to take these pieces and you're going to just kind of spread them out um, along here all over the sausage. Okay, once you do that, then you're gonna take a little more uh, of the uh, pork rub, and you're gonna kind of fling that on, because you can never have too much of that, right? So kind of sprinkle that along there. Okay. <clears throat> now, once you've got the bacon and the pork rub on there, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the sausage up into like, kind of like a log. We're not gonna do the bacon yet, we're just gonna do the sausage. So we kind of ease it up here, and then kind of start rolling it into a log. Okay, and now you kind of got it into a log. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of pinch the end shut, like so. Okay. All right, now kind of even it out if you can, like so. Then what you're gonna to wanna to do is take all the bacon and everything, and then you're gonna roll it. You kinda wanna end up with the, uh, so you got the seam there on the bottom. So now it should look something like that. <clears throat> now, the recipe calls for us to cook it out on the grill and hickory smoke it, yada yada, but it's like eight degrees out, so I'm just gonna cook mine in the oven, which should work about the same. Um, you're gonna wanna cook it probably for about two, two and a half hours at 225 degrees. Um, you want the internal temperature to read uh, 165 degrees. And then we're gonna take a, a little more pork rub here. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven. Okay, so here we are two hours later, and now we have our cooked bacon explosion. Very nice. All right, so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and uh, kind of finish it off. So we'll take our barbecue sauce that we got here, and we'll just put a little across the top. And uh, voila, there it is. Now you just cut it up into uh, uh, about half inch, quarter inch slices and uh, eat it with some bread or whatever else it is you like to eat with your barbecue.